from 2015. The hatred of the left to anything progressive in terms of prosperity is never-ending. They long for the glory days to come when banks and financial institutions fail. Part of their current campaign against life is to oppose coal seam gas. It seems that Clive Palmer has paid Alan Jones to campaign against it. This suited Palmer in his successful campaign against the Liberal National Party in Queensland. But coal seam gas is planet-saving substance, um, timid environmental campaigners campaigning against carbon dioxide have yearned for. It burns clean. For all the fear generated about water tables, managed properly, coal seam gas is safer than wind or solar power for the environment, for extraction and for function. Cheating in high schools is becoming an issue with so many devices helpful in aiding it. Overseas, a boy dressed as a girl to help his girlfriend with a test. They were caught. That wasn't the fault of technology, but available online are essays on any subject or smartphones with incredible functions. A MasterChef candidate was booted for keeping his phone in the competition. He had allegedly used it to get an advantage on acquiring ingredients. The question is how it is dealt with. It is important that public tests become cheaper to manage. It is also important that creation process is given strong recognition so those who acquire answers without thought don't prosper. A boy walking in Martin Place is holding his father's hand as his dad pushes a pram. As images go, it'd be a great image celebrating fatherhood. Only, the boy who seems about seven or eight years old is carrying a Kalashnikov rifle copy. It is fun for boys to play wars at home or in private settings, but to carry it on in public is reminiscent of the child abuse perpetrated by Hezbollah. And to do so meters away from the Sydney siege is thoughtlessness of the father of the highest order. The issue of legality is tricky. If the child can carry that gun in public, can his older cousins? Can it be carried into a chocolate shop, into a bank, in Parliament? And what happens if a policeman panics?